Hello everyone, Wendy Spanish Crafter here. Yesterday I decided to clear my scrap box out. Now this is my scrap box at the side and I put everything in here. I've still got a few toppers to be used up there and I have a folder in with my embossed papers ready to use and I keep my scissors and pencils and things at the side. But this part here is where I just throw any scraps of paper. So yesterday I thought, right, it's getting too much, so I'm going to empty it all out. And this was what I did. I had a, a children's reading book and I thought, right, I'll stick all the bits on them to do a sheet of collage to make tags. So I stuck bits on one side, all the coloured bits and bits of parchment, and on the other side, I put um, any white pieces of paper or coffee dyed paper. So I've started one here with white and this is the coloured side. So when I get any bits of white or coffee dyed now, I'm going to stick them straight onto there. And then when it's filled, see that's filled on the front, but I need the coffee dyed paper on the back. So as soon as I do it now, I stick it down instead of throwing it all in the basket at the side. And I made two or three sheets yesterday and I made cut tags out this morning. And these are the tags I cut out. And I got, how many? Quite large ones, seven and a small one. And I, they're all got paper on the back so that you can journal. So any pale colours I just stuck on the back and I got the sewing machine and stitched around them all this morning and then I attached these um, grommets that I'd had for absolutely donkey's years. I don't even know where they came from. They've got a little bit that goes underneath um, this. Where are you? This is a leaf one. It's not coming into focus. There. And then there was like heart shaped ones and a apple I think turn it around no it won't turn around but I thought they look pretty nice so I've got my bag out of bits and I'm going to decorate those this afternoon but the other thing I did last night I was following a tutorial by Nat Natalie I think it is treasure books and she was doing a fold out flip pocket thing Oh, before I go on to that, I'll show you these. The other pieces that were in my scrap box were too good to throw out, too small for mats. But this is one that was stenciling. Bits of card there. So these are all cards ready to put a topper on and put a sentiment on and they're done. And that's... I was doing stenciling ages ago. And big pieces of card that are too small for a mat, I just put three on there and hidden the joins with ribbon. Same with that one. Same with that one. So I've got quite a lot of cards there ready to make, put toppers on. Now back to Treasure Book, she was making this flip out folder and I used a card that was too thick, it was um, 250 grams I think, 250 GSM. So it didn't fold very well. So instead of fold, throwing my 12 by 12 sheet of paper away that we had used, I cut it up this morning and it was all triangles and I'd glued it so I couldn't open it all out. So I cut where the glue was and I made these mats and I'll put a photograph on at the end of what this looked like before I put the toppers on. So I've just made two birthday cards out of those. And as from now on, instead of throwing everything into my scrap box, I'm putting them on these paper clips. These are all my bits of parchment and coloured card. That's white paper that I make into little notebooks. Just bear with. I hate it when people do that when they're doing a video, but sorry. So if it's strips of paper that we all cut bits of strips off and you get left with a narrow strip of 
paper and I just make them into a little notebook and these can be put in your journal and just put some pretty paper same with that one towards the narrowest of strips you can just use staple them together put a top on put a grommet in and you can put ribbon through I've not decorated these up too much because that one is um, I'll take them to my junk journal class and the ladies can take these and use them so that's what I do with those so that's all my bits stuck together any bits of parchment that I can use for collaging these are bigger pieces that when I'm doing pockets on tags or in journals I sometimes use parchment and bits of book pages so they're all left there ready to use so that's my way of using my scraps so I hope you have a go at making these because these are quite nice and handy and they're all ready for when we need to make a journal so thanks for joining me today and I'll see you soon bye